Welcome. In this guide, we're going to take a look at the official and completely free pre-game editor for Football Manager 2024. How you get it, how to install it, and of course, how to use it. First off, there's one thing you need to know. There are two different official editors for the game. One is a more simplistic and easy editor that you use from within the game, and that editor costs money. The other one is a more powerful editor and is completely free, but it's also more complicated to use. And you use that editor outside the game before you start a new save. This guide will focus on the more powerful free editor, but if you're interested in the other one, the, the one that costs money, the in-game editor, I'm going to put the link in the description below uh, for a guide that tells you about that one. I have the editor on Steam, but it should be available on Game Pass and the Epic Game Store as well. I believe that for Epic Game Store, you install the editor the same way you install the game. And I think that on Game Pass, you need to go to the Microsoft Store and search for Football Manager Editor, but you should be able to, to find it. And for, for Steam, of course, I search for Football Manager and other tools, I find the Football Manager 24 Editor. And you get it by default just by buying the game. You should have this one here and then you install it. And after you install it, just launch the editor. And one thing that's important to know about this editor is that you don't use it for your current save. You use this editor to create a custom database uh, that you can then use when you start a new save. Usually when you boot up the editor, it will load a database, but you can also go to file and pick load database if, uh, if you want to. And uh, this database is going to be the foundation for the costume database that you will build and later use for a new save. So let's start uh, to getting to know the editor by doing some explorations. And uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to click the database. It's a database that just got loaded. And also right now, I'm really zoomed in on this application. So you are easier going to be able to see it on a smaller device. That's why I get so many scrolls and you're going to see where I scroll sideways and so on later on. But yeah, never mind that. Uh, let's go for example clubs here. And then we find all the clubs in game. And we want to find a specific club. So I'm going to go to add condition. I'm going to go for name. And I'm going to write Liverpool. And when I do that, we can tell that there is a lot of clubs in the game that uh, have the name Liverpool somewhere in their name. Uh, but these are sorted by uh, reputation with the largest club first. And we can also see from the nation, the city, and if I scroll to the right, that they are playing in the, in the Premier League, that this is the Liverpool I actually want. So I'm going to click on, uh, on the club here. And uh, when I do that, we get some, first off, we get some basic information about the club. And we can change these things around. We can change the name or the nickname or colors. And even when the club is founded and... Yes, a few things, but, but not too much. So uh, another thing that happened when we picked the club, we see that other than database, also Liverpool is showing up now. And when we are at Liverpool, we get a lot of new options here. And then all these options are based for just um, Liverpool. And uh, we, we are watching the detailed screen now, but we can change a lot of other things, like basically everything about the club we can change. Maybe we want to give them a larger stadium. Maybe we want to go to the finances and change the transfer budget. And uh, yeah, we can more or less change everything about this club. And clearly there's too far too many options to go through them one by one. But you could by yourself explore this one, see what you can find, see what you can change, see whatever you feel like this is something interested for me that, that I would like to, to change. And uh, yeah, let's move on. Now let's get back to the database. We're going to leave Liverpool and we get back to all these uh, options. And now we're going to take a look at competitions. And for competitions, I want to check out the Premier League. And we could search, but uh, they are sorted by reputation. And since the Premier League is one of the larger competitions in the world, we could just find it manually like I just did. And this is where things can start to get really interesting because you can basically create your own custom version of the league with your special rules, and even change what clubs should be in it. Just as with the club screen, you can start exploring by yourself, check out all the different options you have here. For now, I'm actually going to take the next step compared to the clubs, because we are going to start to make some real changes here. So I'm going to go for teams, and here we see all the teams that are in, in the Premier League, and we want to spice things up by adding one of the largest teams in the world. 
So let's just click the add button. And again, we could search, but we're just gonna go by repetition. Let's add Real Madrid to the league. And now if we scroll down, we can tell that we now have a Real Madrid in the English Premier League. But uh, when we're starting to make changes like this to the editor, this is also where things can start go wrong. And we're going to check this one out by actually trying to use this database for real. So first off, go to file and we're going to save uh, the editor data. And let's call this one just test. Test will be a good, good title for this save. So we're going to name it test. We can call it test one and then save it. And uh, now we're going to go to Football Manager. So to use a custom database that you have created with Editor, you need to start a new game. And we're going to go and start a new career. And when we click this one, we get a special message. You have selected a custom database. This means that you will need to pick your team later when the database has been loaded. Choose Advanced Setup. Now we deselect the Editor files from the database menu. and. Uh, if you don't want to use your custom database, you can just click here when it says database and we can tell that test one is selected. So if you have created custom databases, but you don't want to use them, just uncheck them here and you the game will work as normal without any custom data. Well, we want to try this one out. So let's get back here. And uh, now I'm gonna go for choose game mode. And we're just gonna go with the original one and we can't pick quick start we need to pick uh, the advanced setup based on information we saw earlier when i finally got him through all the setup a new save things and have booted up the save we should notice that something is wrong to make this a little bit easier to find out we take a look at the premier league and as you can tell us normally we have 20 teams but if we go back to the editor remember we added Real Madrid to this league and we can tell that there should be 21 teams here. One team is missing. And as we learned that the editor prioritizes reputation, we could start by looking at, like, just a guess. Like, let's see if we can find the team with the, the lowest reputation, that's Luton. And uh, if we get back to the table here, um, we can sort them by, by name. And yeah, there's no Luton here. Let's search for Luton to see if we can find them. And we can find them, but something's wrong here. We, we don't see any leak. If we search for Liverpool as an example, you always get like the competition, the, the league and the position. But for Luton, there's nothing here. So Luton is still in the game. They don't belong to any competition. Look at the schedule. Like, there's nothing coming up here <laughs> except some FA Cup games. Yeah, something clearly went wrong. So let's get back to the editor. One uh, easy way to fix this problem is, of course, doing the opposite. We did a change to Premier League. Let's get back to the database, competitions, and go for La Liga. Check out the teams here. And they now only have 19 teams. So we could. Just add, and now we're going to actually search by name, we're going to go for Luton, and let's move them to La Liga. So yeah, we swapped uh, Luton and we swapped uh, Real Madrid around. Clearly, there's multiple ways you could have done that. You could uh, go and try to change the league, change it from 20 teams to something else, just a bit more complicated. So now we could export this one, save edit data as. Let's make it another one. We already have test one. Let's call this one test two. And then I'm going to go back to the game and I'm going to go and do everything again. Start up a new career. We are going to be using the test two database, not the test one. So I'm going to check that one, confirm this one, choose the game mode. And yeah, let's advance step up and let's jump ahead. And uh, just like last time, we have a Premier League containing 20 teams where Real Madrid is one of them. But now let's search for Luton. And we see that Luton plays in La Liga. So let's check out La Liga. La Liga has 20 teams and Luton is one of them. So uh, we are back at the editor. Let's see what else we can do. And another thing we can change to make things more interesting is the rules. We have a menu option here that's called rules. 
Now in that one, we can, for example, add a nation rules. And we want to include all the divisions that exist currently in that nation. And let's see if we can find England here. Now, as a start, we can see some rules for, for England, like when the season starts, when it ends, we can find the divisions. But as you can tell, most options is grayed out. And we don't have that many options to, to choose from. But uh, there is a way to unlock more options and uh, make things more available for us. And if we go back to the rules menu, there's an option here called convert to advanced rules. And if we pick that option, we get this little uh, dialogue telling us that um, this will give us some extra settings, but it's also going to be fewer validation checks. Uh, I guess that means that it's going to be easier for us to mess something up, but we're gonna click uh, yes for now. And when we do that, we get a lot more options here, as you can tell, quite a few more options. And as you also can see, we have uh, actually the ability to change most things around now. And uh, as an option under required teams, we could actually go here for the Premier League and change the amounts of teams required. So instead of moving Luton to Spain, we could have changed this one around to actually make the, the Premier League fit uh, another amount of teams. And uh, right now we are looking at uh, England as a whole. But what we could do is uh, instead of going for just England, we could select the Premier League here and we're only going to see the Premier League option with the Premier League settings. And yeah, as I told you, so many options here. And as for the previous part, just explore this uh, by yourself, find out what you can change because there's a lot of things you can change here. And uh, don't be uh, afraid to experiment with it. Just make sure to use, that you save uh, at the regular basic, so you have something to go back to if um, if things stops working. Okay, let's get back to the database and check out one final thing. We are going to go for people, and under people, you can find both players and staff. And uh, I want to check out Messi, and of course, you could search for him. But I also notice that he is here on top, so you can just uh, click him. And here. I find settings for whatever person or player or staff member that we pick. And we could even by scrolling down, finding his uh, date of birth. And of course, Messi is a fantastic player, but he's getting a little bit old. So perhaps we could go to this editor and uh, let's make him 10 years younger like that. Now, all of a sudden, Messi is 10 years younger. And uh, you can find all the stats, the attributes, uh, the hidden data, there's so much information here, language spoken, of course, everything about the contract and uh, position, roles, abilities, hidden data, uh, and uh, yeah, more or less everything about the player. Uh, but it's one final thing I want you to know about the editor before we end this uh, guide, and that is uh, where the editor puts the save files. And uh, on your computer, there should be on your documents, it should be a sports interactive folder. And inside the sports interactive folder, you can go for FM24. And then there you find the folder called editor data. And here you can also see the two test databases that I created during this guide. This is where you actually find the, the files from the editor. And one bonus thing, this uh, guide just shows you the basic on how to use the editor. But um, when you use this guide and like you're getting a little bit familiar with the editor, maybe you want to learn some more. And an excellent resource for that is the official uh, game creators forums. And if you go to that forum and you scroll down a bit, you find something called editors hideaway. So it's basically let's zoom in here so we get it really, really large. Uh, but it's basically a sub forum focusing on the editor. Things like that we just saw uh, advanced rules editing and more or less everything here. And uh, if you just jump into that forum, you can ask, uh, first off, you have so many resources you can uh, read and you can learn, and then you can ask your own questions. Uh, but yeah, if you found this guide helpful, press that like button, because that helps me out. And of course, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more FM24 content. Thank you for watching.